My name is Ayo Deji Ajokun. I'm from Fort Worth and my major is accounting. I was born in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, I moved here when I was around eight or nine. I am a part of the African Student Organization. It's an organization that's been at ASU um, before, but it kind of dissolved. And um, me and a couple of, of uh, people um, decided to start it back up to sort of um, bring African students at, uh, together here that might be foreign exchange students who don't really know anybody, who don't know anything about um, how things work here so we could like help each other out and things like that. Being an athlete at ASU, it's, um, it's something that the athletes take pride in and it's something that we, like there's a lot of great, a lot of great athletes, a lot of great students and it's just kind of motivating to see some of the other athletes who are like academic All-American and things like that and are also academic, like All-Americans in their sports. So it's motivating to see um, ASU athletes, especially in the programs on campus, like what they've been able to accomplish. Um, and that's something that I feel like um, the student population um, should be more involved in and know more about and like be involved in going to the games and supporting the teams and things like that. I think that something that will help the whole the entire campus and like just get people more um, connected with the with the sports on campus. Being able to battle through adversity and um, go through things that challenge you in a way that like not being an athlete would like all the things that you have to kind of juggle. Um, to try to enjoy the college experience and also get good grades and um, make your family proud. I think that's something that after track will um, help with the work, work ethic and being able to balance different things and um, like just handle life as it comes. Um, because track, like there's, there's times where you're not doing well, you're not doing as well as you wanna do and that you can get, get kind of down on that, but you still gotta go home and do your homework and study for this test or whatever. So. Like there's definitely emotional highs and lows and things like that. So I think and that carries over as far as how after you graduate, like after I get a when I get a job, there's gonna be emotional highs and lows and just gotta be able to do my job and do the task at hand. And as far as me, uh, my mother, um, she's a very hardworking person. She's a very caring person. Um, she's somebody that's always been there for me and has always taught me um, lessons that at the time that she was teaching me, I didn't really realize the value of it. But now that I'm older and um, in college and I'm on my own, I realize like the value of what she's taught me and um, how that's helped me in ways that I didn't, I would have never thought about before. Um, so she definitely motivates me and she um, is someone I look up to. Um, it's something that I've, I was able to go into last year and it's like, it, it doesn't, feel the same it's a new experience every year it's something that I, I've, I've was one of my goals coming to the season and to be able to do that is something special like um, competing against people all over the country who are the best at what they do um, and being able to, to try to beat them is something that that it's really cool like um, like my sister coming up she looks up to me and being able to say I, I did this this and this and competed against this person my name is Ayodiji Adeokun, and I am an ASU athlete. We will be having our home meet April 4th through the 6th. Thursday, we're going to have our uh, decathletes and heptathletes competing. So make sure to come out and support them. And we're going to have a two day, it's going to be a two day meet. So we're going to have um, prelims on Friday and then finals on Saturday. So make sure to come out and support and uh, we'll we would really appreciate you.